Okay, so how to reseal these poppet seals. So you'll have your cover on here like this. Now you can do this with the cab up or down. It's a little easier with it uh, up, but uh, what you're gonna have is an Allen head screw and you're gonna have four of them. There's gonna be four of them. After you undo that, I recommend scraping all this and try cleaning it up the best you can. You gotta be a little bit careful with this and brake cleaner because it will uh, actually destroy this plastic. So I'll actually use some degreaser and get this clean. So now you can see that all that has been leaking in there and it used to look like this. I cleaned that one up a lot more. Okay, let me show you how I do this. So I remove this, I'll actually take this out side and I'll pressure wash this. Clean the cab out. So, okay, so you're going to remove just the outside protective covers. You're going to pop them off and they just come out completely. They wrap around this little uh, groove right here on the handle. So what we got to do is we got to remove this swivel, okay? This is a universal joint right in there, okay? And I've already got it broke loose for the video. But how do you break that loose? There's no way to really do this. This right here will take the actual handle off this universal joint. So there's two ways you can do this, and I've done it before. On this one I tried with a pipe wrench. You can actually put a pipe wrench right around here and try to break it loose. And what you're trying to break loose is this, right down here on the bottom of the universal joint. Um, other ways, I've been able to take a big hefty screwdriver. If you stick it into that universal joint, you can actually twist that, okay? Oh, there it comes. So as you start twisting that, that's, that's what you want to do is you want to have that come off. Uh, typically, if you're going to be resealing those, if your handle is wobbly and it's moving around and it's loose, this is what goes bad is that universal joint. And you can buy these from Wheeler or buy them from Caterpillar, any of your cat dealers. Uh, that universal joint and it just comes off. You undo this nut right here. That whole thing comes off. So as you're twisting this around, you're going to have to just take these, this right here, this cable on this handle will run everything. It'll run your two speed. It'll run everything. So you want to be careful with that. And what happens, you'll have to come down under here and there's this big plug. So this right here, and that's where that handle actually ties into, okay? A lot of times, uh, if you have problems with your auxiliary not running, uh, whether it be this handle over here or this handle, you're trying to run like say an auger and you're using this thumb scroll uh, nine times out of ten it's gonna be this actual switch so you have to replace the actual handle so you unplug that this is what you're gonna wanna you wanna take this completely off and just that's part of it it runs through a special little hole right here and it'll have a rubber grommet in there to keep that from rub wearing on this steel cap so this right here is just a protective plate and that'll come off as soon as you remove that swivel okay so I get to this step right here, okay? What I like doing is cleaning this up, and I do use uh, just a parts cleaner, a brake cleaner on this. Um, get yourself a good scraper. So I just have a little scraper here. And you're gonna wanna just kinda scrape all this. You wanna make this really, really clean before you take any of these poppets out. Okay, so clean this up here you need a handful of rags and probably a, two cans of this brake cleaner I like using the just the O'Reilly's generic brand there's Samuel there Sam hold that for me film that No, you don't. You don't want a wire brush because if you are resealing them, uh, it can actually scratch this poppet. And when you scratch these poppets, it uh, it will actually cause them to leak. So there's a seal down in there, and they're like a hydraulic ram. And so you don't actually want to scratch them. And you have this brass. What we're going to be pulling out is the actual whole brass 
around these poppets. And I these poppets are worn out. I know that because uh, we tried to reseal this a while ago with just the actual seals, and it didn't uh, seal. And so what happens is the actual these these uh, these are stainless steel. They're a hard induction. They're actually chromed as well. Um, poppets and this brass right here what happens is you get some wear on this this little poppet and I'll show you I'll pull them out in just a minute but that will actually scar and then it won't hold and it'll just keep leaking oil which is what this one's been doing so you gotta actually replace this now there are seals that you can buy but if you're in this uh, this far to replace all eight of these on this handle and on this other handle over here, they're actually about a thousand dollars for all eight. So it is cheaper to buy just the sills themselves, the O-rings. Okay, so I'm gonna get that fairly clean. Once we get all this cleaned off. I like taking a pick and wrapping them around this brass and pulling away all the crusted debris that's been in there. Breaking all that loose and I'll hit it with some brake cleaner to help blow all of it off before I pull it open. And so what you'll need is a pair of channel locks or just some bigger pair of pliers for this job. You ever done this, Sam? Yeah. You've done poppet sills? Indeed. I did them when I was like 14, though. So, cats are all the same. Uh, they don't vary usually between that. They might change inside of the actual valve over here, down in deep, but usually, they're mostly the same, so. Okay, so I get that clean. I'll just show you. It's tough to get it completely clean, but do the best that you can. Okay, so and what you're gonna want is somewhere clean to set all this. So these are all the same. So what you can see is that they actually will start coming out on their own just by wiggling them. So this is gonna be the first one I start with because it's already halfway out. So I'll show you all the new parts I have right here for those. They're, they look like this when they come into a seal kit. This is your part number. And it might change varying on, the, on the, the skid steer that you have, but I believe all the cats are the same. So this one right here is your part number. There's your part number right there. And this will have instructions on how to do it. Um, it'll tell you a go or a no-go on the instructions. So. I'm gonna get a space laid out here that's clean. The way I like doing it is just setting rags down and setting all the parts on the rags. So we'll go right there. I'm gonna set it down on that. Get a nice, fresh, clean rag. Okay, and as I pop that out, this will be followed with a spring. And it'll have, I'm gonna clean that up. I'm actually replacing this, but I'm gonna show you how you actually change the seals on that. And I'm also gonna get some pliers. So you'll need, so you'll need a pick like this if you're gonna be changing the seals. And you'll also need a pair of pliers. 
Just needle nose pliers. So it will bleed and that's a good sign because any debris that that is around it can get pushed out by the actual oil so there's an o-ring that holds this in and that's the only thing that holds that in is this o-ring right here so if i'm resealing this i'll leave this just the same way it is now i'm actually changing this whole little part here so if i set that there i can pop this i'm doing this all one-handed and trying to film I pop that pop it out and it looks like a silver bullet and sometimes people might refer to them actually as the silver bullet but okay there's just a hollow tube and this is what you're actually resealing this is what goes bad so inside of here inside of this there is a seal okay and it's crucial which way that seal gets put in so I'm actually gonna set this down. Let's see if I can set this down and film at the same time. Okay. So I'm gonna use both my hands here. I'm gonna pop this old this old O-ring off. Right there. That's gonna be changed. So that's the outside the outside O-ring that sits right here in this groove. There's an internal O-ring, and this is what actually leaks on them, and it sits, it sits down right in there, okay? So that's why you need this shaped pick, and as you pick that out, this is actually what leaks and causes all that to, to bleed all over the place, is this little seal here. So as you pick that seal out, it's an oil seal. And it looks like this. It'll have a little opening right here. And oil will hit that and it'll flare this open. And so when you install the new one, you're going to put it back in there. And how you do it is you want to make sure that that little groove I showed you is facing down. So there's a groove in this. You want that facing down. And what happens is this silver plunger, um, while it's in there, and that's, that's the part that is sealing this on that little, uh, that little, uh, oh, what is the name of that? That is the gland. This is a miniature gland, like a big hydraulic ram. And this guy right here, that seal, you can see that seal. All right, there's your poppet. And that's what, every time you push down or stroke on that, that's what's sealing it. So you gotta make sure that there is a groove the groove side is on the downside of the poppet when that's installed inside the internal seal of this gland. The external is just an o-ring, okay? So if you get that resealed, you just push that down in there with the poppet and you'll just take it and you'll push it right back in place. So because I've got this one apart, I'll show you the other method. Okay, so there's only two seals with one one poppet. Okay, you don't want to lose your springs. So as you take all this out, hands clean here. As you take this out, you take it out and you're gonna put it back the same way you pull it out. There'll be a little valve. Okay, here's a little valve. Okay, and then there's also this down in there, and I pulled that out before. I can't remember. Let's see if I open this up. This has the instructions on it. This is the new one. Set that up. Okay, so so what the new one comes with
That new one is not brass. It's actually made out of a, it's a new updated version. And it is not brass and it comes with this little wear um, sleeve and a clip, the piston, the little piston that goes down in there. So that's what I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna actually grab that and pull it out. So, again, it's hard to film while I'm doing this. But I'm actually gonna grab it right here. Okay, and I'm gonna lift it straight out and I'm gonna watch and pay attention to everything. Make sure nothing comes out, okay? So this is the actual little pilot valve itself. So as you pull this out, there will be a spring in there and you just leave that spring in there, okay? So this is what I'm replacing. I'm gonna be replacing this side right here on that spring. And it's pretty easy. What you do is you pull it down. I won't be able to do that with gloves on. So the reason I like gloves is I can take it off. My hands are clean. So what I do, you got it here. This is what I'm changing. You're gonna pull it down. Then you're gonna twist this. I need to get a GoPro or something to get on my head. So let's see here. So when you got it like this, you can take this part, you can swivel that till there's an opening. Oh no, no, on this one, I'm sorry. You pull it all the way back. And as you get it all the way back, you take this, and you pull that little locking mechanism out. Okay, and that will release it. Now hold on to your spring, and that will release it. And this is what we're changing. Just gonna grab the new one right here. Okay, and slide it down on there. Goes this way. It goes this way. Let it down on there. Nope, we're still wrong. It goes this way. Okay, that little groove right there is for the spring. That sets in there. And this little guy, locking mechanism, drops back down in there. Okay, so it should sit, should sit in there like that. Okay. So this right here, you can pull this out and inspect this. All these little grooves right here. And the openings, make sure everything's all clean. And it goes back inside. Okay. It's gonna go the same way it come out. Okay. That's gonna drop down inside that. There, it's gonna be pushed down in like that. Now, if you're either reselling this or Cat gave you that little kit, this little guy right here, oh, now it goes down in there. Like that. That'll go down on that. Let's see, so I don't know if I got that, but this little, this little part right here has a little notch set open for the top of that spring. It sits down on, on the center there, just like that. Just pop it, okay? Or whether you've resealed this and this is all fresh and brand new, this is a brand new one, that's the old one. Just those two seals, you have that, the pop it and the gland. Okay, I'm gonna take it and slide it down on there. And now I push it and that might pop up with the oil pressure. Okay, there you go. That's okay if that comes up, okay? Because what actually holds that down is this plate that you spin off. And that hole right there is where 
this is and that that there's nothing that holds that down other than other than that plate so when you get that plate down there there'll be some shims uh, be some shims right here that you put on and that'll suck all that tight and that'll hold everything down nice and flush and now when you put that down on there you want to make sure that that slosh plate right here is not too tight if it's depressing all of them at once it's, it could be a bad deal so what you want is you want just to barely you want it to just barely kind of wiggle on all four of them so that there is a little bit of free play in there just a little bit and that helps hold them down as well so that one's been done i'm going to go ahead and do this on all of these and that side will be done i'll put it all back on the same way i took it off this side right here is a little different and i'm going to show you the only thing different on it is this poppet seal right here so you have seven out of the eight poppets that are the same part number this is the only different one right here and that's to actuate the float and so is this here this has been busted it should have a little piece on the bottom but this okay facing the front on your on your auxiliary arm or your loader arm your bucket side um, will have a separate uh, pop it right there I don't know if the sills are going to be different the sills are the same the only difference is that that pop it will have a little relief slit cut into it so it allows the oil to bypass when it's put into the float mode other than that this is identical to this side and so now you guys know how to reseal a poppets on a cat skid steer and quite frankly all the cat machines are very very similar to this um yeah if you like if you have any comments let me know go ahead and like and subscribe thanks